back. Alright, so there. So. We are now T minus 40 seconds in holding after an issue on the booster that the team is working on, but they it sounds like they've cleared it and we're waiting. They're going to start at T minus 40 seconds and then count down to liftoff. Don't walk away, that's for sure. So let's hang out here. Amazing news here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Not. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. There it is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's tallest rocket is on its way to space. And it was so loud. It's still so loud. Wow. People are cheering all around. Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in the standard sequence. Oh, right. If all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can, it's hard to for me to see in the sun, but you can see clearly both vehicles after it's separated. Wait, is the second stage gone? Yes. Yep, there. Continuing to fly. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. It's like fucking flipping. Beginning the flip for stage separation. All right. So I was wrong there. They it's hadn't like separated. Yes, it no, but like, it's not like a flip. Well. It's like, like, I mean, it did like a 180. So I've lost it now in the sky. I, I can't still see have it. it. Something is burning. Good morning. But. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation. Is it just so, failing? Our starship could separate from Super Heavy Booster. So they're waiting for stage separating. Whoa! Whoa! Well, it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, a... Yeah.
Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. <laughs> so it sounds like they did have an anomaly, but, or maybe not. Well, they're happy. <laughs> Wow. Well, can you get a photo of it? So, they are still excited. They got off the pad for the first launch. <laughs> well, that was amazing to see. Clearly, uh, they were able to get off the pad. We saw it lift off from the pad uh, over over there. To get this far, honestly, is amazing. So they're gonna they're gonna analyze what happened. Just experience what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a growing ascent. So now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship, and the goal was to gather the data and, as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. That's John Innsbrucker saying that they had a rapid unscheduled disassembly. So clearly an anomaly during. Uh, the, the later parts of the flight, but Starship, the giant rocket, got off the pad. The study now will will begin to see what happened, and I guess they'll get ready for the next flight. I'm going to sign off now. Absolutely amazing to watch, crazy, crazy thing. And we will talk. Uh, we'll see you all next time. I guess at the next Starship launch where Starship should separate from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Uh, there. <laughs> and there, as you saw, as we promised, an exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight.